Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a modern mansion. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it will help you out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Step one, come all the way over to the front right hand corner of your grid, if you've made it. From this corner, count backwards one, two, three, four, and then left by one. Start off by placing three smooth quartz on top of each other. One, two, three. Extend left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Extend up by one. Right by three. One, two, three. And then up by one. Come to the left of the row that you just made and extend inwards by two using quartz stairs. One, two. Place a smooth quartz on the end. Extend it up by one. And then extend left using upside down stairs by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place a smooth quartz on the end. And then extend that block backwards by four. One, two, three, four. Then Extend the fourth block left by three using grey concrete. One, two, three. Extend upwards by four. One, two, three, four. Right by four. One, two, three, four. And then back by two. One, two. We will leave it at that. So the next thing we want to do is come all the way down to the bottom corner of the grey concrete shape that we've made. We want to place a grey concrete extending inwards from the corner of this shape. We then want to place a grey concrete down. Then we want to place a smooth quartz block extending left. One backwards. Extend up by three. One, two, three. Then extend left by three. One, two, three. Extend backwards by three. One, two, three. And fill the top of this shape in using your smooth quartz. We then want to take the back right corner of the shape, place a light blue, light gray concrete behind the back corner. Extend it up by one, two, three. And then left by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend down by two one, two, and then extend over and join back to where we first started. We then want to take these two exposed light grey concretes, this one on the left and this one on the right, and extend them each down by three. One, two, three, one, two, three, like this. And that is the shape that we want to have made. We then want to take the top left hand corner of the light grey concrete shape and extend backwards by three. One, two, three. Down by one. Extend left by five using grey concrete. One, two, three, four, five. And then extend down by two. One, two. And then we are going to momentarily leave it at that. This is quite a complicated shape, as you can see. And there's a lot of twists and turns here. But I promise it will end up looking really good. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, which might be difficult to find, is to come back to the smooth quartz area here that connects to the grey concrete area that we abandoned over here. Okay, so we want to extend this smooth quartz block left by three. One, two, three. We then want to place three upside down smooth quartz stairs. One, two, three. Smooth quartz block on the end. We then want to place six upside down stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to extend inwards. 
So we don't have to extend inwards a specific amount. We just want to extend inwards until we line up with the grey concrete here. So the grey concrete that we placed earlier, we now want to extend it backwards by one. This is the end bottom grey concrete. We then want to extend it left by four using smooth quartz slabs, the top of the block specifically. One, two, three, four. Place a smooth block of quartz on the end, and then we want to join that smooth block of quartz down to the ground, like this. What we can also do whilst we're here, just to piece things together a little bit because it's getting a bit chaotic, is underneath the row of smooth quartz slabs, I want you to leave half a gap and then place another row of slabs. Underneath the left side here, we want to have light blue glass block, which I'm starting to think actually maybe we've got to augment this a little bit. So right of all of these blocks, we're going to use smooth quartz blocks to join to the upside down stairs area here and the area above. So just like this, right? So then I'm thinking we knock out this row of smooth quartz slabs, we add one on top, then we shorten this row here, and then we add a row of smooth quartz slabs on top of that. So that actually looks a little bit better. Now that we have done that, we can begin extending backwards a bit. So we're going to take the entire row here and we'll extend it back by, well, 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll do this with the entire row. We'll have to stick a row of smooth quartz slabs on top of it, which is fine, but that's okay. And again, actually, before we just leave this part, I do just want to show you what, if you are looking at your build and you're like, what is even happening? It, it, you know, it, it, it will all come together. <laughs> Okay, so coming all the way to the back of the build once again, we are going to start from the top of the smooth quartz area, and we are not counting the slab here, going to count down one, two, three. Place a grey concrete left of this block, and extend left by 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then inwards by four. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to join this grey concrete area down because we can't just keep leaving rows of abstract rows of concrete and quartz just floating in the air. We've got to start connecting some things together. Okay. So there is a walkway and a terrace which actually connects to the previous part of the build that we made. So we're going to add two rows of oak planks here, just on the inside of the top row of quartz, leaving us a little uh, row of quartz slabs. We're going to extend these oak planks down. We then want to take the two end oak planks and place oak stairs in front of them. Oak planks underneath them. Oak stairs in front. Oak, st oak planks underneath them. Oak stairs in front. And now we want to create a walkway that is double wide using smooth quartz blocks like this that just sits along the inside of the grey concrete like so. What we are then going to do is extend the grey concrete that we placed earlier. So this grey concrete area is connected to this terrace and we want to extend the corners of it backwards and we just want to extend it back far enough that we are able to, able to then extend it back and down and sit next to the oak stairs like this. So we can then extend the corner of this grey concrete left, one, two, three, four, five, like this, and then extend it and just slot it down in between the smooth quartz. And then we only have to extend the top of this forwards by one, two, 
three, four. And then the light gray concrete, we are going to extend it back and then we will extend it down so that it connects to the gray concrete like this. And then we want to extend the top of the light gray concrete left by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then join it all the way to the front. So you can see that we are extending these shapes back across and essentially joining them in some cases back on themselves and in some cases not. So what this allows us to do is extend the light gray concrete area down, just the back. And we just want to extend it quite far down, like towards ground level really, like it might even be easier or a couple of rows off ground level. And once we've done that, we can extend the grey concrete area down as well that connects to it. And it's just the... It just makes it a little bit easier because in doing this, we can now extend the little walkway that we've made. We can extend it and join it to the grey concrete. And then we can add another row of grey concrete like this. Or, alternatively, we can even extend the light gray concrete area back like this let's add another row to this because it'll make the house it'll elongate these areas a little bit so it'll make these big chunks of squares and rectangles it'll make them a little bit bigger like so and then we still have our row of two walkway which we can then just extend across to the left and then hook it around this corner here and then we will just leave it like that for now but that's kind of what we're dealing with and underneath this oak plank walkway here we can just fill this in um, we can also add the extra row of grey concrete on top of here we can fill all of this in later, the tops of this, because that, that's a different decision than these sides. But the sides we are going to have to fill in. So I'm just going for nice solid grey blocks here, but you could choose to add more windows on the back if you like. But there's a bunch of windows on these sides and the front, so it's not 100% necessary. The terrace we have to fill in using oak planks as well. So here like this and I'm just thinking maybe with with this area so this th this is a little bit clunky but maybe if we add like smooth quartz and then smooth quartz underneath there we go that just looks a little bit better I think instead of having it open and then on the side here we could have like access to this via like a double door just right in the middle and I don't have the doors on me at the moment, but let's just leave that nice and open. We could even have a couple of windows here on the sides as well, and we can fill those in with glass block or glass pane, and I think that that would look pretty good. And now that we've done that, I do want to just come all the way round to the back, and I kind of want to continue the journey and connect things together. So we want to come all the way up to the top back right corner of the light grey concrete and extend down one, two, three. We're then going to extend inwards by one, two, three, four, and then place a grey concrete on the left here and extend that down by three, one, two, three. But we want to extend the top to the left by one, two, three three, four. We then want to place a smooth quartz block in front and then on top and then left by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. We then want to place a grey concrete on the end and extend forwards by five. One, two, three, four, five. Extend left by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you should see that this is kind of the boundary here. And you can even join this grey concrete down to the ground. The house doesn't actually expand any more than this. 
But we're actually going to have to come back to the smooth quartz part here, and we want to extend this downward facing smooth quartz block down by an additional one, two. We then want to place two stairs extending left, one, two. Then place a row of two grey concrete, one, two. Left by two, one, two. And then down one and place eight light gray concrete in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then left by 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And actually maybe we'll, no, 10's actually perfect. So we then want to extend inwards and we want to do two things. So first of all, we want to join this row of gray concrete here, left and then up. So, to this corner. We can then extend the top of this grey concrete area down, and we want to create a wall here, okay? So, we just want to extend the grey concrete down, and we want to fill this gap in, just like this. So, that's looking pretty good. Oh, and here as well. We're going to fill the top of the light grey concrete area in using light grey concrete. This is actually going to be a garage. So here, here as well, because this is all very confusing, right? And then we want to extend the left side down and then the right side down as well using light gray concrete. And we want these rows to be as long as the rows above and they want to join and connect to the surrounding rows. We then want to split the garage in half, so that should be fairly easy to do. And then we want to place rows of smooth quartz stairs inside of the two garage doors, like this. There we go, so we have two garage doors, like so. And then left and right of the garage, we are going to have a wall, but before that, we have to join the hanging row of grey concrete here down to the ground like this and then we want to take these quartz stairs here we want to extend a couple of yeah there we go just one row will actually do it and then we take the rows of smooth quartz that we used for the walkway we just extend them back a little bit and just join them together in the corner the row of light grey concrete here wants to extend inwards and join to the just straight up grey concrete. And then we want to take the end of this grey concrete row and extend it down and then another row because we wouldn't be able to see it otherwise. So we'll extend the grey concrete down a little bit. Maybe I'm just a little row of grey concrete in here. We might even change this to... Um, yeah, actually, we'll we'll just use smooth quartz for this, I think, and we've we've got to vary it a little bit around. Who, what's this grey concrete? Yeah, we'll just turn that into quartz, and then this can just be filled in with whatever material you want. I'm liking block recently, so I'm gonna go use good old quartz block, and then you can see that the back of the it's starting to make a lot more sense, right? So we can also extend this grey concrete row here inwards as well. So this is where the little walkway that we have here connects up to. And we can fill the top of this in using oak planks. These will extend inwards until they just sit inside of the quartz and gray area. Um, we want to add a little bit of glass pane around the edge of this. Um, we want to have a double door here on the left. So I'm just I'm just I, I need the doors I guess so a double door here and then next to this will just be a wall and then we'll have um, some glass so just like a double row of glass and then smooth quartz block and that looks pretty good in my opinion see so the back of the house is really starting to come together a lot and next up how do we want to tackle this next so there is an overhang of smooth quartz slab it actually starts here on the right where we have the gray concrete and the smooth quartz slab basically just sits here it extends left from inside this corner here and it will extend back and it'll kind of just cover up all of this big empty space that we have so just like so using the smooth quartz slabs and we just extend it backwards until it um just until it kind of like fills the gap in 
And then we want to have a, I guess you'd call it a patio, I suppose. And the patio wants to, well, as well, actually, whilst we are at this point, it would be easier for us to make the walls left and right of the garage here. So left and right of the garage is a, uh, is two walls. Left and right of the garage are two walls? Is two walls? It sounds wrong. Anyway, there are two rows of smooth quartz. It is wrong. <laughs> two smooth quartz. So we've got two rows of smooth quartz with a row of glass on top. But I'm thinking that this top row of quartz could actually be upside down, outwards facing smooth quartz stairs and it would look a little bit better. Yeah, that, that's looking nice. And we want this on both sides of the garage. So now that we have like a wall just on the inside where the patio is going to go, We'll just stick a quartz here on the end and glass up here on top. But let's place the upside down stairs. And then on the end, we'll have the smooth quartz block as well. So this will be... There we go. That's, that's looking pretty good, right? So these will be two walls. And I wanted to place that because that will then allow us to... Does it make sense that this would be glass, guys? Probably not, right? Should we repurpose this into smooth quartz? I think so. I think that that looks a little bit better that way. And maybe even turn underneath here into smooth quartz as well. Anyway, in the corner here, we are going to place, I think in the corner, we don't want it to be too, like the area for the patio I'm thinking will span kind of like where we just placed this wall. And it could be made out of, I don't know whether to make it out of oak planks or smooth quartz. I only wonder that because we've already got like a lot of grey and a lot of white and I think that oak would be a nice welcome change, although I was going to use that for the wall itself. But I'm thinking that sat in front of this, I think that that'd be enough rows. Maybe even, we could even destroy the row of, because a lot of this is just for guidance. But then again, actually this is a wall. Actually this is necessary, this row of um smooth quartz here the only way that this isn't necessary is if we use um oak planks for the walkway which i'm not opposed to actually so okay there we go that that's fine okay anyway let's let's talk about the patio area so the patio area we'll just run a row of oak planks all the way over here to the left we'll join to this wall we'll have a double door a row of oak planks to the right and then glass block all the way over to the right where we'll have a couple of rows of oak plants, glass in the middle. And I think that we'll even have a little bit of grass inside here as well just to shape up the area a little bit. And then we'll have like a table and chairs in the middle, but we'll sort that out a little bit later. But in doing this, so this, this is a, well, problem, like air quotes problem. Um, in doing this, we really should turn all of this into... Um, into oak so instead of smooth quartz and i guess it makes sense because this kind of like follows from the terrace that we kind of made earlier and then it's it's kind of like continuous there i think that that looks pretty good actually yeah that's that's just fine right guys i'll i'll wait for an answer <laughs> Anyway, so that's that's like the back of the house and we are we are doing a really good job with this So let's do a little bit more whilst we're just back here So just in the back we're gonna grab oak fence oak leaves and we just need some stone because we can kind of put an end to this area that we have here so this is a this is going to have a little driveway this is a garage or a double garage and as such, we are going to place stone as kind of like the drive up to the double garage. Like this. And either side of this, we are going to have trees. Not actual trees, but you know, nice modern looking fake trees. Nice realistic fake trees, I guess. And we're going to have three of them from the garage here. Fence, gap, fence, gap, fence. A couple of leaves on top. Perfect. So we're just going to have this, leaves, like so. That's looking pretty good. And then I guess that we can kind of like work on this area a little bit as well because there's not much to it. Like I just need a scaffolding, poppy, lanterns, um, stairs. So just poppies here in this grass. In the middle here, I'm just going to have a couple of rows of scaffolding. Let's chuck a lantern on one and then we can have just like seating. 
and that's that's all there is to it. Um, up here, I'm thinking in front of this window, we can have a row of leaves because it just seems to make sense. It adds a nice little bit of color, a little bit of variance. Up here, we could have a single table as well, but we're getting into like reusing decorations at this point, but we could just have like a single table as well, just up here, just on the terrace. And we'll have a single, uh, a similar thing over there too. But the, the back of the house is looking much more complete than the front of the house at this moment in time. So, I think it's time to swing back around to the front. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work to do on the front. So, first thing on the front. We are going to need to grab our smooth quartz blocks, our grey concretes, and our glass at the very least. And we are going to begin literally just like right where we started really. So we're going to take the vertical row of quartz that we have here and extend backwards by 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We then want to stick a grey concrete on the end, extend outwards, and then we want to join it to the back of the build. And we also want to make it as high as the back of the build as well. So this is going to be quite a tall order just up here. So this grey concrete will also extend to the left as well. It doesn't really make a very big room at all, does it? Maybe we'll have to extend it forwards a little bit as well. But I, I guess we'll get to that point a little bit later. So... Anyway, now that we have extended to the left, we want to have a couple of rows of glass um, on the right side, just extending inwards like this, top to bottom, and then grey concrete just to fill in the remainder of the shape. We won't extend it any more, any more left, we will just let it naturally connect to that quartz there. And now that we've done that, oh, we really should raise up all of these smooth quartz as well, here. And we also want to extend two rows across as well, so these are also going to be front to back. Again, this house is quite abstract, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, we also want to take these two vertical rows, and these two vertical rows can get extended back. We can join them to the grey concrete. And then we want to have a little bit of glass here, so we'll have a couple of glass pane, and then we'll stick a smooth quartz block here. And we want to have a doorway into the house. So this is the actual doorway into the house. It's going to be a double row. Then we're going to have a row of quartz block next to it. Two rows of glass and then quartz joining down. And then we just want to have a couple of rows of quartz slabs just extending in front of the top of the doorway just like this. And then we're actually going to grab leaves because we're going to place three leaves just extending left of the bottom quartz block here, like one, two, three. And then left of this last leaf, we're placing two quartz stairs extending inwards. And then we want to place a smooth quartz block on the end of them, extend that left, and then join it up. And then extend another row of smooth quartz block on top. We want to have a double window here on the left. Smooth quartz, double window, and then we just kind of want to place smooth quartz and just fill in this gap like this. Extend the smooth quartz up here, glass, glass, just like this. And then we want to place a couple of rows of smooth quartz stairs extending, and I guess just we, we want to fill in behind this hedge as well. So these stairs will extend from here and join up. And then we want to have a couple of rows of smooth quartz extending back, like so. These smooth quartz, I think, actually extend all the way back to the grey concrete, because this is also another entrance that we're making. Not only do we have the front entrance, but we should really make the area that this all connects to. So next up, we're going to grab grey concrete and we are going to come to this overhanging grey concrete area here. We want to take not the corner block, but the one behind and place grey concrete underneath. Then place a row of seven smooth quartz block extending out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and then extend back and join to the... Well, it actually joins perfectly to the back of the build. So what we can also do is, whilst, whilst we're kind of like looking at the top here, we can fill the top of the grey concrete area in, so just like extend it backwards. And also we want to place, we want to fill the top of this in using smooth quartz block as well. So like, th this kind of like joins to the back as you've kind of just seen, and it forms a solid shape. So this can get filled in completely using smooth quartz. And then this area here, like we can fill the side of the light grey concrete area in as well. And we can also extend this grey concrete forwards to join. And we want to... So this is actually really good. So, like, now that we look at the top, like, everything's starting to, like, come together, get filled in. And it it depends on whether you want to use it. Like, in certain places, we have... We should use glass, I think. Because it, it, it just kind of, like, lends itself to it. Like, especially the more regular shapes like i like it i like these areas like being filled in with glass and I, I don't like the whole roof to be filled in with glass but certain places with like skylights and stuff actually um i think it kind of enhances things like you don't want the whole thing to be glass you want you want it to be a bit varied as we look at it from the top down so the grey concrete area that we have here, we just want to just fill it all in, essentially. Like, it's almost like a solid block of grey concrete. So, all like this. Here we go. Perfect. So we'll fill all that in. Just a solid block of grey concrete. And then we also want to connect the quartz area that we have here down. Um, it might just be easier to just have a solid shape of quartz and then carve some details into it. So just extend the, extend this uh, smooth quartz area down until it's kind of like covered up by its surroundings because it kind it does form a like we have another little balcony slash terrace and we have another entrance into it. But we want to extend this quartz back here. So there we go. So now now this is starting to make more sense, right? So what we can now do is we can grab the I've got rid of the I really needed those doors. We're going to fill this in using oak planks. And then glass pane around the edge of the smooth quartz area that we've created, the little balcony. We want to have let's get let's get that door back. <laughs> so there's a door out onto this. It's a double wide door just here on the left. We'll leave a gap of one and then we'll have a kind of not quite floor to ceiling, but floor to almost ceiling um, window. And that looks pretty good. And then on the side here, we are going to use smooth quartz slabs. I think that that's actually too low here. So we take the top row of smooth quartz and we place a row of three smooth quartz slabs extending out. And then we want to use fence to join this up and down. Maybe we'll even do it like one row inwards so that we can have some fence on the front and the back. Uh, we have to be able to get up into here as well. So we, we could even do this in the corner or we could do this in the middle. It would make more sense to, unless we were to play some like leaves. I keep get, getting rid of that door. Unless we had like leaves here. And maybe we could have like thick leaves if we wanted to. And then we could have like a door here say. And stairs here. And just like this. And maybe we could even have like glass next to the door. So like that, that would look pretty good. Unless we have a little bit more leafage, like so. I just want to kind of, I, I just want to make it look a little bit more interesting, you know? Um, maybe we could even have like oak planks underneath here and we could even have like an oak trap door sort of effect like this. Um, you can only see it on one, but I think that that looks okay. And maybe, maybe we don't have this. We, we could, um, we could go for like a planter, so like in the form of grass block, and maybe not even so big. Maybe just like three here, and then fill this in using poppies. And it would be nice if we had like a lantern here as well, because it cut just to illuminate the area. I think that that actually looks pretty good, and that's that's like a nice solid end to this particular part. Um, 
So this grey concrete area here, um, this actually has to get extended down further. And we want the entire, like, where the grey concrete would end, so it's here. We want to extend this down. And then we want to have smooth quartz block here, just next to the windows. And then we're going to place... I, I actually want to build a planter into these stairs here. Like, I want a planter to start right here, and it's going to be grass and extend left. And then oak trap doors around the outside of it. And then poppies on the inside. So that looks pretty good, right? Uh, the next thing that I want to do, because I <laughs> I keep getting fixated on these areas instead of the, in the entire thing. Um, this area here, like the, uh, the smooth quartz can actually get extended down. Like the smooth quartz area can get extended down. And then we can place glass in between. So we can place glass in between underneath the upside down stairs. We also want to place uh, light blue glass extending left. It does not want to sit underneath the end stairs. It just wants to extend backwards like this. So it doesn't want to sit underneath these end stairs. And we actually want to place a row of smooth quartz slab on the ends of these stairs actually as well to give us this effect. Uh, what we also want to have is a couple of rows, and I did consider that this area here could actually be an entrance into the house. I want a couple of rows of oak planks to sit in front of this area. They only want to go so far, though. The oak planks want to come about as far as here to where this window ends, and we want to fill a 2x2 two two area in just with oak planks like this like so. And then what would happen is, like, th this area is actually going to get dug out a bit. And underneath it will be grey concrete, like so. And I don't actually have, I, I have just a bunch of empty space underneath this, which I'm probably going to have to solve for the tutorial. But um, just like underneath the planter as well, will just be like, there just wants to be grey concrete, just like underneath the planter so again you can just dig out this area underneath here and as a matter of fact let me just make it so that there is solid ground underneath here so that you know we're we're kind of like experiencing the same thing there we go that's better although we're not going to need that for a little while because now that we have the rows of oak planks in and we have a little bit of gray concrete underneath here with a little bit of foreshadowing of what's going to happen next we are going to work on the rest of the actual house instead of its surroundings first. So, this quartz area here, this has to be connected down. And as a matter of fact, you can even take your oak planks and you can fill the top of the smooth quartz section in. So, the smooth quartz section, the big long section, it's kind of like a balcony or a terrace, you know, depending upon what the difference of that, depending upon which one it is. I don't know the technical def definitions. I think that a terrace is much bigger. And like, I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like every, every terrace is a balcony, but not every balcony is a terrace, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let's get the, get this majoritively filled in using oak planks because now hopefully it's it now looks a lot easier to fill in. So the quartz area here, we just want to extend the side down like this and then fill the front of it in using glass. Um, on the left side here, we're going to place a couple of oak doors with glass above. We're even going to fill the top area in of the light grey, uh, the light grey concrete area. We're going to fill the sides of this in using uh, glass and then we'll have light grey concrete for the actual sides of it like so. Perfect. And then the grey concrete area here, again, like everything's kind of just getting connected down. Like everything's its ultimate shape, really. It just has to be actualized. And then all we have to do here is just fill this in using, like, extend the grey concrete down on the right side and then fill this in with glass. And it's up to you whether you want the edge of this to be glass. I don't want the edge of mine to be glass, so it's, it's up to you whether you, you do. You might. 
And up here as well, we're going to have a little bit of a planter. There's grass, oak trap doors. We want leaves. I actually got rid of them by accident earlier. And we also need poppies, but I've already got that. So perfect. So in front of here, we're just going to have like a row of grass. Two rows of grass, actually. It wants to be two rows wide. And then oak trap doors. Like so. And then we're going to have a couple of rows of oak leaves. And then poppies in front of the leaves, like this. So that looks really good. It kind of just breaks up the area a little bit, which is always nice. And beyond this, we have loads of little details to do, such as like putting stuff on the terrace up here. And oh, we never put doors up here. So we can add, uh, add a couple of doors up here as well. And we can add some nice stuff just on the uh, balcony there. But we have to add walls around the place. But more importantly, we have to add a pool. So we should really get working on the pool. The pool is quite easy to make, quite honestly, ladies and gentlemen. So where we have these stairs here, they're kind of like important for two reasons. So I want a couple of rows of smooth quartz in front of this stair here that takes us up onto the second floor. But I'm going to, this will help us to kind of like measure out the area. Um, I want to have some rows of grass path just in front of the actual entrance. So three, four rows, I might get rid of the white later and add, um, add more in. But I want to have poppies on the side here, and then oak leaves just on the side of the entrance that kind of like extend back and join towards this grey concrete area here. Okay, but in making this, we want to, on the end of the smooth quartz area here, we want to have a couple of grey concretes moving outwards. And then the grey concrete is going to extend all the way over to the left. And it actually wants to line up with where we have the oak planks. So we'll just get this all extended. And then we want to have in the ground, we want to dig and join to the oak planks. And then we want to dig and extend across to where we have the oak planks as well. So we want to have kind of like an L shape like this. And then we have digging to do. So... If you don't have world edit, I'm very sorry, but I do. So we want to kind of determine how deep we want this area to be. So I'm thinking we want to dig down like one, two, three, four. And so the idea is that we'll have a small pool, but we will actually have like an underwater room. It's kind of secret, but you know, not too secret because you can see it. So we really just have to determine how much space we want inside of what I'll call the pool house. So it, we're going to have to dig down so that underneath the quartz slabs, we want at least three rows underneath the quartz slabs because the top row of slab is going to have to be glass. So underneath this will be the floor which, I mean, we can kind of use anything for the floor, but let, let's just use grey concrete for now, just for the fun of it. So this area here, this has to be dug out, and it has to be replaced. So the underneath this, all of this wants to be... So the walls of this want to be smooth quartz, so I just wanted to get that row done. So this is kind of like the size of the pool house, so here. This wall here should probably be grey concrete, but like the top of this wants to be filled in using... Actually, we won't use grey because th because this wall is going to be grey concrete. I don't want the floor of the pool house to be grey concrete as well. So this wants to... Um, that wants to be dug out. We want to replace the walls of this. Um, this area here as well, this wants to be dug out. So... It'd actually be easier to do this in reverse. So come here, and then if we dig, say, place up there, dig here, get this dug out. Perfect. And what we essentially want to have, so like the pool bottom is going to be orange glazed terracotta. So this is going to just sit here. But we're going to have some stairs that lead into this as well. So this has to be dug out. So when we have these oak planks here, we have to have some oak stairs. So like we'll place one here, 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 and here. 
and then we'll just have to like walk around and all of this so underneath the gray concrete area here this wants to be gray so this wants to extend down here and underneath the oak stairs as a matter of fact we'll, we will just place more we'll just place planks so that's fine and but underneath the gray concrete like i do want it to be gray concrete like i want it to look as though that the house's foundations are dug this deep um this is all going to be empty as well so this is basically just going to be a walk down so this will get replaced using gray concrete so stair 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 here perfect and then gray concrete here like this Perfect. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I, I won't use the magic axe for this because it's, it's the digging part that's the worst. We're going to have... Underneath this front wall, we'll dig all of this out and replace it with the grey concrete. And then we've just got to add walls to the pool house. And after that, we've just got to add a base... And then water. And then it's actually pretty much done. It's quite easy, actually, really, now that I think about it. Um, it actually looks way more complicated than it is. So, oh, well, that's that's semi-annoying. Okay, hang on. So, here, I have grey concrete here. Fill underneath this in. Using the grey concrete. So, yeah, this, there we go. So, that looks pretty cool, right? So, obviously, of course, all we need to do is just grab the orange glazed terracotta we'll fill the bottom of this in we want the we want this to be like i don't know if we want this to be glass or quartz and then just have a door here which will obviously keep the water out um i'm not 100 percent sure but the actual pool part this is going to be orange glazed terracotta get this all dug out and replaced there we go and then we can just dump some water in here later um inside of here um that's gonna have to go because yeah the, the, the base of the pool house has almost certainly got to be up plank just uh, for contrast really so we'll get all of this placed here yeah okay cool yeah because we're, we're always trying to um have that balance of like oak planks oak gray and quartz like the entire time so there we go it might you know this might even look better if the glass did come all the way down like this that's looking pretty good nice okay perfect so we then want to have water the water will sit here so it doesn't come actually it has to come up on top of the pool doesn't it thinking about it so it has to sit on top of the pool and I guess it has to... Uh oh It's okay, we can solve that. So, here, we can just take the top off of this. Right? So, here, and here. And that should work out, I believe. Oh, we've still got some... A little bit of sauce over here. Right. There we go, that's perfect. So, we've waterlogged that. This is flowing down. That almost creates a... That's kind of cool. That's almost like a um, a waterfall effect. So if we were able to then keep the water level a little bit lower here so that it's kind of... That'd, that'd be kind of cool. So that we kind of get like a waterfall effect. So if we just keep the water level lower in this portion in particular... There we go. Now how do we fill this? Hmm... We might have to um, be a little bit craftier here, perhaps. Do we have to? I've never, I've never really got the hang of filling, filling water in. I'm going to be honest with you. But I think that that's actually fine. So it's flowing down onto here, and then that pool is still. I think that that's pretty good. Um, on top of this grey concrete area here, we are going to add grass and oak trap doors around said grass, poppies. Just like this. Yeah, that, that's looking pretty good. So all we would have to do from this point 
is just kind of like add some walls around the house and add so why why don't we start with the walls so that might be an easy part so the walls very simply we might even copy you know the walls that we used for the garage so like from the front left corner of the house here coming all the way to the back left corner give it a give it a second and then we'll extend it across and i'm not sure whether to enclose the area so I don't know whether to extend and join to the garage or kind of leave it a little bit open, but I, I think that we will have the same, like we'll have the upside down smooth port stairs here. Step block here, upside down stairs, like all the way, whoops, my bad. So wait, I'm bad, hang on, eh. there we go, perfect. So here, Extending all the way forwards. I'm bad at placing stairs in Java. There we go. And I want to kind of like divide the lawn up a little bit. So leaving a gap of one from here. So like this this here is meant to be grass, the white concrete. Like this will be grass, I'll change it. But um, we're going to have a couple of strips of fake grass. So we'll have like a row of actual grass. And then we'll have a row of lime terracotta. And then a gap. Or rather, a row of actual grass. And then a row of green terracotta extending all the way backwards here. And then along the side of the house, we're just going to have those fake bushes that we that we placed earlier as well, like next to the garage. So here and here as well. So I think that these get spaced out in such a way that it's like two, gap, two, gap, two, gap, two, gap. I think that that's how it works. I might have got this wrong. If if, if I have it, it's not really a big deal. Like, it's just the spacing. Yeah, so, un unless we just have, like, one in the corner here, which is fine. So, we just want to have this. Here. 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 So, just moving all the way forwards. Perfect. So, just sat in front, just like this. And then we'll just have regular grass sat in front of the pool. And then on the back, of course, we'll have the same sort of thing. So it'll be like regular grass, lime terracotta in strips. And then regular grass, green terracotta. Regular grass. <laughs> you guys get the idea. So it's just a nice big mix. And we will just extend it across. I think that we'll, like, we'll let it end with the fence that we have on the back. So, right about here. Like, that seems like a pretty good place to end it. And honestly, like, we're, we're getting to the point where it's a good place to end this tutorial. Because we've kind of done all of the all of the structure of the house. We've got the pool. There's not much to do, but perhaps little bits of detail. So, like up here, like, you can, you can kind of add what you want. I reuse this a lot because it's just simple and it looks good. But, like, just like a table and chairs with, like, a lantern on it. Or you could go with the double table and chairs with, like, a lantern or perhaps, like, a flower pot or something. Just, just to kind of, like draw people to that particular part of the build like it just it just helps and you can do the same thing up here although i'm going to leave it blank but ladies and gentlemen we've we've officially kind of like completed the actual build itself i'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and maybe like add a bit of a street in front of it but the actual house is done Thank you so much for watching everybody, I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do subscribe to the channel and click that little bell next to the subscription button, that'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do like the look of the world that I have been building in, I don't know how much of it you have managed to see, Stream City is available to download Java edition only for all of my channel members. If you are a channel member and you're unaware of this, or if you would like to become one for this perk, channel members are provided a brand new fresh download link for Stream City every single time it is updated. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!